Obviously, the New Hampshire primary, one of the largest political events in New England. Here to talk more about its importance, our political brew analysts, Phil Harriman, Ethan Strimley, and Betsy Sweet. Hey. Thanks again for joining us. Hey, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Um, nice to see you. Betsy, let's start with you. Why should people in Maine care about what happens in the New Hampshire primary? Well, because I think a lot of this is going to depend, especially whether Donald Trump just wipes away and we're just done, or whether or not there might be a chance for another person, Nikki Haley. And also, depending on how well she does, especially with independent voters, it might open a lane for another independent na nationwide, or not for an independent nationwide um, that we see come in after these primaries start to take shape between the two parties. Phil. If Nikki Haley does somehow pull out an upset in New Hampshire, how much do you think that impacts Donald Trump's race? Oh, I, I think it creates tremendous momentum for Nikki Haley. The, the media will intensify, the donors will take notice. Uh, as Betsy indicated, independents who do have a chance to vote in primary, which they will in Maine, not till Super Tuesday in March, yeah, but they would have a chance yeah. to do that. Uh, yeah, if she wins tonight, th I think we have a whole new conversation to have. Anything to add from either of you on this front? You know, look, I mean, if Nikki Haley wins tonight, there's no doubt. Obviously, that's a huge win for her. But let's be very clear. Trump is going to be the nominee of the Republican Party. I hate to spoil the news and the political analysis, and we all love to pretend it's going on. But Trump is going to be the nominee unless he is kicked off the ballot in terms of the cases that are in front of the U.S. Supreme Court, the main Supreme Court. Um, but no matter what happens tonight, it's just a matter of whether it gets extended, whether she tries to get additional money to last for another primary or two. I also think it indicates how strong Trump is. I mean, this is his base, right? This is this is his base. And so nationally, if she is able to bring in some independents and get them in a more moderate way and having them not go to, to Trump, that then looks, when we look at the national race between Biden and, um, and Trump, I think that means that he is weaker than he thinks he is. So to that very point, in 2016 and 2020, Trump was able to gather one electoral vote from Maine uh, as, it, as it splits. Can he bank on getting more than one this time around? In Maine? Yes. No. Mm -mm. There's <laughs> yeah, no, there is no way he's going to get both votes. Yeah. I no, think, no, I think there's, there's not a chance he can get. Look, he can, he, he'll win CD2 for sure, but he's got to win the entire state, which Biden won by double digits, and he's never going to win CD1. No. Yeah, I, I, I agree with the analysis. It, it really boils down to if you get uh, one uh, vote in the Southern District, you do get all four. Right. But right. I want to say, I think there's a chance that he doesn't get the second CD. That was my next question. I think there's a wow. chance there because, first of all, Hollowell, my town, the most liberal town in Maine, is now in the second CD. And so all 2,000 <laughs> of our voters <laughs> yeah, is going to make a big say, difference. Betsy, right. Hollowell's important, yeah, yeah. but it ain't that big. I mean, look. Come on, there's, there's a, a lot of us. He, we've all, nobody's ever won it other than Trump up there, so we yeah. always try to believe that it's not going to get split. But Trump has won it both times. He's won it handily, and that district is more conservative. So while I would love what you're saying to be true, what has really changed up there? I, I spend a fair amount of time in the second district yeah. hunting and fishing. Even today, there are Trump 2024 yeah, signs yes, yeah. Yeah. all yeah, over absolutely. the place. I, I know that. I just want to say that between the events of Lewiston and the engagement of young people and the, and the excitement or the political activation of more independence. I think there's a chance. I know it's little. From I know it's small. your lips to the voters' ears. Right. <laughs> CD2. Women right. in CD2. Come on. Step up. <laughs> Lots to discuss this week on Political Brew then. Thank yes. you so much.